let's see. How many times do we need to cleanse these places of vermin? Invisibility. Are you kidding me? Figure that much out. Right. Once you've picked up anything of value, let's head back to White Run. Oh, did I say White Run? No. No, that's not where we need to go. It's Windhelm we need to go! That's where you pick those jobs up. Oh yeah. And there's that bloke who wanted that amulet of arcade. Got a few of those, so you can spare one of them. City a great service by catching that killer. Well done. I'd appreciate it if you don't bother my wife, Kova. She's still in mourning. I hope RK grants my wife some comfort. Thank you. Here, I always pay my debts. Please forgive my mood. I'm still coming to terms with my daughter's death. Did you use my good hammer? No. Everyone says Jorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. Look at that edge. Still sharp. I'll present this to the Jarl later. As for you, let me show you some smithing techniques. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Yeah, thanks for the pointers. You know about Talos? He founded the Empire. Yeah. The council called him out because I used to be a sailor. There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. Now that's good work. Everyone will be a lot safer with them gone. Dark Elf and Nord alike. Here, some gold as promised. And let me show you a bit about wearing heavy armor. Save you some aches on a long march. Safe journeys, sword brother. I'd be out there fighting you. Oh, let's head to the dock to see what you can do there. What I've heard, the Argonians are helpful, but they're not allowed within the city walls. Yeah, I know. Outrageous, isn't it? And last I checked... I didn't think that... The Argonians have done anything to incur the wrath of the Nords. Skyrim isn't very friendly for Argonians. 
So we mostly just keep out of the way. Windhelm has been hard on my people. But our fortunes will turn, and we have shelter and food. We have not fared well outside our native Black Marsh, but we're determined to make the best of things. I began praying to Xenathar, the god of wealth, to bring us some fortune. But thieves made off with my sacred amulet almost as soon as I bought it. Shavi would be in your debt, kind one. I enjoyed our talk. The Imperators think we need their laws. Pfft. Right. Let's head to where they're hiding out. You have got to be kidding me! We have found a cave. I don't think there are warm fires and friendly faces inside. They're hiding out here?! I wanna know! Don't waste time being creative. Just cut through them, kill them, and get what we came here for. Well, oh, I've had some sentimental value. Or it's been enchanted. Forget to. Oh, you are an idiot. Let's tally what you've done for the people of Windhelm so far. You've shown that you can protect the innocent from the depraved. You have shown that that is not restricted to Nords alone. Like the demo of what we talk about what you did for Malborn, who was a boss there. Let's see what else. Oh yeah. You've done a good service to the blacksmith. Windhelm. That bloke from Clan War Anvil. Is that Clan War Anvil? Well, whatever. You help that bloke out. And you've shown that your compassion is not limited to the living. Well, you have proven it. Just not to the people of Windhelm. And now to... Well... Show the Argonians that... You're willing to help them when they need it. Yes, one of them needs your help to get her amulet back. And you get to punish the guilty in the process! Your wars can protect against magic, but not against the blood force of crossbow bolts. Well, not as effectively, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that too often. Otherwise, you might have a bounty on your head for necromancy. Right. 
got what we came here for. Let's head back to Windhelm. Ah, I feel like I just walked from a nap. Yes. Oh, I shall save that bit of that line for when this happens. Skyrim isn't very friendly for Argonians, so we mostly just keep out of the way. Bless you, friend. You've renewed my hope. Before I came into Xenophar's calling, I confess I was a thief. But I learned a few things in my time that might help you survive. Let me show you. I enjoyed our talk. Yes? Make it quick. I'm a busy man. No, not yet. We'll wait for the moot to name me High King. It'll be better for all that way. But that doesn't mean I won't start acting like it. There's much to do. The new Jarls need help building armies and enforcing their right to rule. The Empire may try to reclaim Skyrim, and I need everyone ready for that. Though the biggest threat, of course, is the Elves. Then by my riders, Jarl, I name you Thane of Eastmarch. Congratulations. I grant you a personal house call to watch over your home and this weapon for my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Talos, watch over you. The Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. Oh, Jolly really did put all stops to this place. Even the mess has been cleared up. All hail Medrus Nig! Hail to thee, fame of Windhelm! Oh, there's your house girl for this holes. Honored to see you again, my fame. Someone has to keep this in order. Right, what about the hidden room? Huh. They converted it into an alchemy lab. Oh yes! Plenty of reagents here! Oh yeah, an enchanting table. Got that right! Let's see what the upstairs is. Yep, this is definitely the armory. Even display mannequins. You could put some armor there, but it's mostly for show. 